Ooh, it's getting stinky. It's time for a dry cleaning. Hello again, welcome to another review. Uh, this is going to be a review for two long coats, um, medieval style long coats. Um, these are not HEMA jackets, uh, they are not hardened, and uh, they don't have a newton meter uh, rating of protection. Uh, the coats themselves are from armstreet.com um, and uh, that website has all sorts of armor and, and um, weapons and accessories on it. Um, this is listed on their website. I'll have the links below um, as their medieval long coat. And as you can see, it goes about to the knees, buckles in the middle. I've had this for about two years. It's never let me down. There's no threads hanging out. Um, it's got a little bit of fraying on it here and there, but that's kind of expected. Um, I've used this thing for a minimum of four hours a week of sparring as well and it's held up to all of that. Um, so as I mentioned, it's it's not a hemostyle coat and it doesn't have added protection to it or, or newton meter um, protection, so you have to complement it with other armor. I personally used a under armor for underneath. It actually was motorbike armor. And then over top, I've had a couple SPET style, SPES uh, style forearm guards and, and elbow protection. And that's all I actually needed for full speed and I was more than protected for the past two or even maybe a little bit more years. Um, itself, um, it's not restrictive. Um, the sleeves, the way they designed it, it's uh, fairly large here, and so you have full movement of your arms. Um, unlike I noticed in a few uh, HEMA coats that I've used in the past, um, sometimes your shoulder movement, and they're, they're much tighter um, in the armpits, uh, sometimes you have a little bit of difficult uh, lifting your arms. Outside of that, this coat held up and did really well. Um, the reason why I've stopped using this coat is if you've checked out my other reviews of my Frankenstein five finger glove, you'll notice how long the arm is, forearm protection is on that. And you can see that I can't necessarily tuck this material in there without it binding too much. So what I did was I contacted uh, the supplier at um, armstreet.com and I got a, another coat. So if you give me a second here, I'll show you that one. All right, here we go. So first thing you'll notice is the sleeves are cut to just before the elbow and I didn't make them too baggy um, in the sense that I gave them measurements uh, just a few inches bigger than my bicep so that I would, so there wouldn't be too much material hanging or getting caught up binding or getting caught on things. Um, but the most important thing I did was I designed it so that it works with these gloves or a forearm protector and elbow pad so that there's absolutely no binding. The best improvement or the biggest improvement with this uh, Gamison versus the other one is not having the sleeve without thinking about this, created more arm mobility. Um, because no matter what you do, no matter what sort of armor you wear, whether you are wearing a Hema coat or a Gamison like that, um, you are gonna create, whether you have a forearm guard or a glove, you are, as I'm shaking the camera, you are gonna create uh, binding. There's absolutely no binding anymore on my arm, and especially when I'm raising my arm, there's no material pull anymore. So, um, through not even thinking about it when I was ordering these, I was ordering them simply just so I could get the glove on properly, but I also created more mobility for my arms, which is a good thing. So the other good thing about this coat, or cool thing about this coat, I should say, is I bought it a little bit longer, or quite a bit longer. If you can tell, it goes all the way down to my ankle. I was contemplating doing that, um, whether I should get it the length of my other coat or whether I should keep it this length. Um, I'm actually glad I went with this. I thought it was going to slow me down, but it has done nothing to my movement. Um, in fact, it sort of complemented the movement. Having this hang down below past my knees makes me actually really aware of where my footing is and how I'm actually uh, moving when I'm striking blows. I think, but I'm not 100% positive on this, it also does mask my movement a little bit. 
meaning that it's very tough to see what my feet and what my legs are actually doing because they are technically hidden behind, well, the code itself. Um, so the positive things about this is they're made very well. Uh, I haven't had a single rivet or anything come out. The buckles they choose are strong. The leather they choose is strong. The material they choose is strong. The seams are well made. It's all handmade. Um, I haven't had any fraying, anything bad happen to these coats. Um, so I'll have to say, I can highly suggest I'd give these five stars out of five stars if I was giving them a rating. Um, the downsides with these coats is they aren't Newton meter rated, meaning that if you're in a tournament and they require your coats to be a certain type of protection, these don't have it. But that's what you use the complementing armor for anyways. Um, the other downside about them is they are hot to wear. Um, this one is cooler than the other one, but let's just face it, all HEMA armor, even our more common HEMA coats are hot to wear as well. So although that's a downside of this coat, it's a downside of armor in general. Uh, going on in the future, I actually plan to uh, make some custom armor for over top, very similar to this hardened armor with padding here. So I'll have a full a full chest piece and some shoulders and maybe some arm protection here, um, which will complement this armor. I'll probably make it black and uh, have some design motifs on it, maybe a blade stop for looks. You know, you gotta make it look good. Um, but that's about it for these coats. So the only thing that I kind of liked about this coat a little bit better than the others, it had blue on the inside, whereas this is just black on the inside, but I can live with that. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I highly recommend these coats if this is what you're looking for. Arm Street, check out their website. They've got all sorts of stuff there, all the way down to accessories, belts, and you know pouches for your belts. Um, I'll have the links down below for that. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe, and have a good evening.